Now, hi everybody, Gribbon here. Now recently I was contacted by a company called Carrion Wave to check out their first game called Squeaky Clean. It's a new indie horror game that takes place in one of the worst places to have a horror event go down, in the shower. So let's not waste time and let's just jump right into this. So what is Squeaky Clean exactly? Well, let's take a look at the message that I got and we'll see what we have. Hello Gribbon, Squeaky Clean is an indie horror game releasing on Steam 5.1.2021 featuring plenty of atmosphere, jump scares, and challenging levels, all about the horrors of taking a shower. Inspired by classic scenes from movies like Psycho and with gameplay similar to Five Nights at Freddy's, it's a deceptively simple game where you try to get clean before being horribly murdered. Featuring handmade 3D environments, a collection of hot shower tunes to bask in, and a straightforward keyboard mouse controls if you have a free spot in your schedule, blah blah blah, try this horror game. Before we go into this, let's talk basics. So the game is revolving around a murderer that kills people while they're taking a shower. There are five victims with four days in each. Well, it says four days, but most of the levels look like they take place at night, but whatever. From this point forward, there will be spoilers. You've been warned. So let's break down the message. First, he mentions atmosphere. There are five different levels for you to take a shower in. Honestly, they're not much to look at, but graphics aren't everything. However, in showers 1, 3, and 4, people are showering with the curtain wide open. Literally, nobody does this unless they're drunk or high. Who wants to clean up all the water that's being splashed from the shower head directly onto the floor? Next, he mentions jump scares. The jump scares aren't terrifying at all. They kind of look like aliens from the X-Files that either show up either one at a time or in a group. As far as other things that can classify as scary that happen in the game, you have spiders or ants or whatever these are in the bathroom, a toilet that vomits blood, a shower that spews blood, blood on the walls, blood dripping from the ceiling like rain, you have this guy peekabooing out of the medicine cabinet, and pulsing walls, although this might be a glitch, I don't know. Then you just have these general aliens that prompt with a sound effect and static across your screen that forces you to stop showering to look at them to get rid of them to prevent death. These aren't scary in the least, and in some cases, it actually kind of takes you out of the moment. First of all, sometimes these interactions happen so fast I don't even know what the game was trying to show me. And other times I'll get notifications that something's going on in the room and there's literally nothing in there. Take a look. Could any of you tell what was going on there? Because I have no idea. It's also hard to stay immersed when you look at these alien ghost things. What are these boxes around them whenever they're fidgeting like crazy? They only stay on the screen for a few moments, but these boxes are really noticeable. Then you have this small one that appears in the bathtub trying to look up your butthole. I get you have to look in this direction as another way to prevent death, but why would you put one of these aliens here? Maybe a better choice would have been an arm trying to grab you from the drain? What do I know? Then the sugar frosted turd icing on this crap cake is when you stop showering a body part, that meter starts to decline. How does the body unwash itself? If I have shampoo in my hair and I stop to look around the room, I still have shampoo in my hair. I just need to finish what I'm doing, not apply more and start over because my head meter's going down. And if that wasn't enough, sometimes this game just likes to kill you at random.
Then you have the death cinematics at the end of each level on the fourth night. This is when the game is actually interesting. I'm guessing this is the shower killer and how he's currently killing you. However, if this guy exists, why isn't he killing me in the jump scares? Who or what are these alien things? At first I thought they were previous victims this guy murdered, but that doesn't make much sense because why would they want to kill me? And then I got really locked in thought and thought, hey, maybe this guy's filming me on the dark web and the people that are killing me in the jump scares are actually the audience watching to tell the murderer how to kill me. I don't know. It doesn't elaborate. And if it did, I didn't care to notice. Now let's finish this up and go to what he calls challenging levels and gameplay like Five Nights at Freddy's. This is what interests me the most about this, so does this hold true? No. Oh god no. Literally, all you do is look in seven directions, either to look at aliens, stop events from happening, or look at the item that you want to wash with. Shampoo does your head, soap does your body, scrub brush does your legs, and I'm guessing this is a rag but it looks more like a chainmail chest piece from World of Warcraft to wash your arms with. When you're washing with your arms and legs, it goes up by four every second. Your body goes up by three, and your head goes up by two. Your head takes the longest, so you want to get this out of the way first. When you're washing your head, it feels like forever to get it to 100, and it declines very quickly when you have to stop to get rid of an alien. It gets to the point where you stop caring about what's trying to be scary, and you frantically look in all directions just to get rid of what's trying to kill you, just so you can get back to what you were doing so your meter stops depleting. Again, why is the body unwashing itself? I'm gonna be brushing skin off of my leg if I have to keep using this scrub brush in the same location over and over again I just cleaned. As far as variety goes, there's really nothing going for it here. It's quickly wash, get to the next night, rinse and repeat. No pun intended. If the events or the aliens were more frightening, bringing tension to finishing the night, this would compensate. But it's not, so you're more in a rush just to get it done and over with. I almost forgot about the phone. Sometimes the phone goes off and you'll get some kind of creepy message that tries to build the tension, but when you're reading it, something's going on in the bathroom and you're more interested in taking care of that. More times than not when the phone went off, I just ignored it. If the jump scares aren't going to give me chills, angry murderous messages aren't going to do it either. Plus, if I'm reading a message and get attacked, when you put the phone down to address the attack, you can't read the message again. So what's the point? Then we get to victim five. Everything goes normally as it did in all the other levels, except for day four when the walls start to close in. I spent more time on this day than I'd like to admit. So now I'm getting an abundant amount of alien attacks, events, and now the walls are closing in. Question, what do the walls closing in have to do with someone trying to murder me? This went from ablutophobia to claustrophobia really quickly. By the way, ablutophobia is the fear of taking a shower. At least they tried to add another element of gameplay here, but it just doesn't make sense. Speaking of not making sense, why would somebody want to continue taking a shower when there's blood spraying from the toilet? Or the shower? Or the ceiling? I'd nope myself right out of that bathroom. Also, as the night progresses, more cameras show up in the bathroom. What are these doing here? This went from a scary game to an OnlyFans simulator with horror elements. But then, once you beat the fourth day for the fifth victim, you get a sixth victim. This phone pops up, you get the best graphics I've ever seen in the game, thinking this is going to be the best part of the game, and then the credits roll. What? So let me calm myself down and we'll ask the question that we do at the end of all my reviews. Is it worth it to you to buy this? No. Absolutely not. Not to say that this game didn't have potential. Absolutely, there would be a market for people being scared to take a shower. But this was way off the mark. And I know what you're saying. It's a $5 game. What can you really expect? Well, there's a lot better $5 games out there than squeaky clean, let me tell you. Take that $5, go fill a gas container, and go cut the grass. That would be more of an adventure than what this game was. I hope you liked my review. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, join the community where we play a lot of better games on my stream, trust me. I'll leave links in the description for that. But until the next video or the next stream, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye bye